Hey guys, what is up? So I thought I'd film a general intro to all my videos just so I can, you know, say what I need to say and you guys can hear it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it really helps other people see and know about my channel, which helps it grow. And I know we would all like to see each other succeed. So let's go, let's do it. Also, if you hate the choppiness and the muting of my videos that I have to do to get them put on YouTube, then please, please subscribe to my Patreon. My Patreon is linked below in all new videos now. And you can see full length reactions to movies, TV shows, music, anything that I post on YouTube from 2022 on will be on my patreon so thank you guys again for subscribing to my channel i want to thank you all it means so much to me and let's get into whatever video you're watching hey what is up you guys welcome to my channel i just want to say thank you so much for watching today we're going to get right into how i met your father um just for a general for, just for a general reference i have seen part of the first season of how i met your mother i know that's probably like why are you watching this you can't watch this until i don't know it just didn't grab my attention as much as the other shows but i do love hillary duff so i definitely want to get into how i met your father uh like me and lizzie like i call her lizzie i call her hillary like that's my girl like i'm telling you i'm an og fan um so yeah let's get into it is the whole season on Oh, I love it already. Same intro. Okay, I love it already. How's call my son? Light on. Mm -hmm. It's 2050. How does this still not work? Oh, Samantha. Call my son. And turn down the damn lights. Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, sweetie. Oh, you look tired. Okay, thanks for calling. Are you busy? Not really. Just finished studying. <laughs> Good. Because I want to tell you the story of how I met your father. I oh. know how you met dad. Uh, you know the basics. But it's time for me to tell you the unabridged version. How many glasses of that wine have you had? <laughs> Just enough to include the sexy bits. <laughs> Oh, good God, here we go. Call back. Now, like Sex a lot of love stories back in 2022, this one starts with a Tinder date. <laughs> Actually, it starts with... Uh, I am here uh, for Hillary Duff Sophie. being hey, Samantha. Hey, I'm Jesse. It's my best friend, Sid. Don't mind him. He's just hitching a ride. Oh, ask me why I'm hitching a ride. Come on, ask me. Oh, well, well, why are you hitching a ride, Sid? I'm proposing to my girlfriend tonight. Aww. Wow, girlfriend! Not gonna be saying that much longer. <laughs> She's gonna be nothing but fiance, 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 fiance. Sophie, be a deer and choke me out with this charging cord, would you? Oh, actually, <laughs> how are you gonna ask her? So she thinks we're gonna go see Beyonce tonight, but really, I got all our friends waiting at my bar to surprise her. That you think she's gonna be a little bummed that you're not actually seeing yeah. Beyonce? I keep telling yeah. him she's waiting. Yeah. The yeah. lifetime with me is better than Beyonce. Sure. Keep thinking that, so, but uh, what about you, Sophie? What's going on at the Rosewood Bar? Okay, uh, I know this might sound crazy, but I think I found the man that I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with. Mm. Yeah, the only thing is, he's from Tinder, and we haven't actually met in real life yet. Ooh, Ooh. Right, you've got mail, more like you've got <laughs> unrealistic expectations for this. Yeah. Day. Thing in the second one. Okay. I, I know how this sounds, but I am not some wide-eyed dope who thinks she's found true love every time some douchey eye baker swipes right and texts, sup. <laughs> My last Tinder date was the worst one yet. The guy showed up 20 minutes late. Sophie, sorry I'm late. Uh, that's okay. <clears throat> Subway delay. Uh, no, actually, I was uh, I was on another date before this, and uh, let's just say... The what, audacity! Like, uh... Like really well. Like I just had sex. He oh, Ew. Yeah, I tell you that. That's not even the worst part. He actually thought that telling me he just had sex was charming. He thought I'd just laugh and smile and say, that's so crazy. Because God forbid a woman in the city actually expects anything from a guy. 
Even if it's just the basic decency to not tell her he just had sexual intercourse with someone else. What is wrong with everyone? <laughs> Thank you. Right there. She looks so pretty. That bar, I decided to quit Tinder. But when I went to deactivate my account, I matched with Ian. Sophie, the thing is, I'm moving to Australia. <gasps> no. You just got back from there. I know. It was only supposed to be a research trip, but right before I left, they offered me a full-time job on a team that's helping endangered coral reef procreate. Chrissy, I love so her much. so much. You have time for I miss you, Stitch. How was your date with Ian? Was he tall? Yes. Was he a good listener? Yes. Were his eyes as kind as his photo? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you jumping? Because he's moving to Australia. We can start a podcast called Yeah. Who needs her in that big t-shirt yeah. makes me think she has men. Yep. Mm -hmm. We can workshop the title later. Oh my god! A pervert? This is Charlie. Okay, sort of a pervert, but in a good way. It's a real pleasure. Tower back on, sir. Funny story. We met at London Fashion Week. Hit it off. Big time. One thing led to another, and now he lives with us. So back to you and Ian. Wait, what? what? Oh, God, don't let this be the next proposal fail. I know. Wait, are you? It's actually Mr. Proposal Fail, but yes. <laughs> Ian. Sophie? What are you? I've been on 87 Tinder dates this year. Okay, all of them were duds. Just to be clear, I don't do, like, sexy stuff with all the guys. A lot of the times I just have a, a white wine and talk. I also want to be clear that I am not judging any woman who does hook up on every date. It's just not my style. But if it's someone else's, that's her business, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, girl. Getting away from her. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie, I'd love to make it work, but it's a 14-hour time difference. And I'm going to be living out at sea for weeks on end without service. It'd just be way too hard. Oh, this is brutal. Uh -huh. I'm really sorry, Sophie. But maybe someday, right? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, I'm doing it. I'm walking the bridge without the love of my life. It sounded more triumphant in my head. Uh, you walk that bridge, girl. You walk that bridge, girl. <laughs> I love him now. I'm so Thanks for having us over for drinks, guys. Yeah, of course. Hot engagement sex, drinks for total strangers, two equally good things. <laughs> <laughs> it looks just Wait. like the other one. Thanks. It's a total score. We got it from this old married couple who posted it on the Wesleyan alumni group. We even got them to leave their swords. Wow. Touch. They got the old place. So oh, that's I it. That. That's the night that. I met your father. But you guys didn't even get together. Get together? Well, that's a much longer story. How long was I? It's okay. I'm here for it all. I'm here for it all. Oh, I'm here. Oh, yeah okay so that was lovely um definitely cannot wait to finish the series i will be um reacting to it um as well i hope you guys enjoyed it it was so much fun seeing hillary Duff because i was really upset that we didn't get the lizzie mcguire spinoff that i really really wanted but anyway just like hillary Duff, we're moving on yeah i was gonna make a hillary Duff fun but i'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna fit a circle into a square. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just not gonna do it. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said in the beginning of the video, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload. If you want to see the full reaction, please go ahead and subscribe to my Patreon, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.